The managing editor of the Insight newspaper, Kwesi Prat Jr., says the lack of sincerity among parties with Nkrumah's roots is the cause of their disunity. At the 70th anniversary launch of the formation of the Convention People's Party, CPP, in Accra, he said the parties have to galvanize their energies to unite. A report by Godfred Tanam. Of 2019 is exactly 70 years the Convention People's Party was formed by the first president of Ghana, Dr. Kwame Nkrumah. After his formation in 1949, he spent about eight years in the fight for independence for the then Gold Coast. After independence, Dr. Kwame Nkrumah spent nine years in government before he was overthrown in February 1966. Since then, the Convention People's Party had not tested power, although it has contested all elections in the country under the Fourth Republic. At the launch of the party's 70th anniversary, the managing news editor of the Inside newspaper, Kwesi Pratt Jr., advocated concrete works towards uniting the Nkrumah's parties. Yes, it is important for us to unite. And it is amazing that for more than 20 years, all our leaders say that we must unite and we never unite. Something must be wrong. And what must be wrong is the lack of sincerity in the call for unity. Why are we calling for unity instead of uniting? He expressed worry over what he described as an attempt to change Ghana's history. There is a strenuous effort to distort the history of Ghana. And sometimes, so-called Nkrumahis are part of that effort. Sometimes I hear people say that it is not only Nkrumah who fought for independence. Who has ever said that it is only Nkrumah who fought for independence? Nkrumah is the supremo. He is the inspiration of the independence movement. It is his ideas, his strength, his organizational ability who gave impetus to the struggle for independence. And indeed, on 6 March 1957, when independence was being declared, he declared it. He also took the opportunity to relaunch the convention newspaper. The acting chair of the party, Haji Hamda to Ibrahim, said the party is poised to get back on its feet. I am therefore issuing a clarion call to all of us to mobilize the entire CPP and in an event more confident advance towards the goal of building a vibrant, prosperous political party in all respects. On the morning of June 11, the CPP hosted a breakfast for some marginalized children at the Akra Psychiatric Hospital that giving hope to the deprived and abandoned children with disabilities. The 2016 flag bearer of the Convention People's Party, Ivor Green Street, said Ghana has less to show in terms of development after the overthrow of Dr. Kwame Nkrumah. We have gone backwards and that we are not moving forwards in the way that we should do or in the way that the resources we have as a nation should allow us to. The year-long anniversary is on the theme, building consensus through tolerance and sincerity. So the CPP is 70 years. Let's talk to Dr. Edward Brinya. He is a senior lecturer at the Department of History and Political Studies at the Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology and joins me on phone from Kumasi. And Doc, 70 years of the existence of the CPP, yet the party has performed abysmally in recent polls. As a political scientist, what is the root cause of the issue? Um, good afternoon, I'm good afternoon to the listeners of TV3. I think that um, the CPP as a political party needs to be united. Um, mm. There is no way they are going to be able to forge ahead to become a formidable party in Ghana if they keep on dividing their funds. Mm. So it, it is a matter of they coming together as a youth and also putting up policies that are attractive to the youth. They look as if um, many in the CPP saw dance in the greens of the mm. yester, uh, years, those of Kwame Nkrumah and others. I think they need to be united, put up policies that will attract the youth. And now that a lot of people in Ghana are sort of yearning for a third party, if they can come together, they should be able to become a formidable force. Aside unity, what else can the CPP do to attract a lot more voters to be a credible political party? Um, that's what I said. Uh, putting up things that are attractive to the youth. 
if you look at the membership, it looks as if uh, it still remains those that were part of the CDP in the days, right? The elders and others, and I believe strongly that if they are putting up policies that are attractive to the youth, then of course, or uh, maybe for the party in one way or other, making it um, uh, interesting or motivating for you to even contest for elections, in one way or the other, they should be able to attract the numbers. Hmm. Now, Doc, looking at their performance in the 2016 elections, even with smaller political parties, they even scored less than 1%. So can they really merge together to gain more votes? It's about the problem that they've been confronted with, the disunity, struggling for power. And those are the main problems. So until they realize that they are not going to be able to move ahead and become a stronger party if they don't mm. actually unite, it, uh, it, uh, it, uh, I mean, it's going to get worse. But if they should actually uh, bury their differences, unite and fight as a single party, they could make a difference in Ghana's politics. Now, Doc, before you go, what are their chances in the 2020 polls? I'm sorry? What are their chances in the 2020 polls? It would all depend on the, their, um, I mean, the, uh, what do I say? On they uniting. If they don't unite, they might even perform worse than they did in the last election. Thank you very much for your time. I've been speaking to Dr. Edward Brinya. He is a senior lecturer at the Department of History and Political Studies at KNUSD.